Hi, I'm Lorna from Face Paint Parties. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for TAMFest, Virtual TAMFest 2020. Uh, I'm going to show you today not how to be a witch, the cutty sark, although if you would like to see a tutorial for the cutty sark, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll get that across to you as well. But today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the devil, the deal. Um, from Tama Shantar. So my son Jack is my model to do. Thank you very much, oh, Jack. And um, he's going to be the devil. So the basics I already am that... the devil. <laughs> yeah, you kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> so the basics that you're going to need today: red paint. Please don't buy crayons. Whatever you do, um, it's just a total waste of your time and a waste of money. Um, black face paint. White face paint, preferably if you want to be painting on horns and doing highlights. And if you want to be really fancy and paint on scales and things like that, you could get some gold paint, yellow paint, just a different colour. And um, you can use a stencil as well to create different cool looks. Again, you don't need that. So I'm going to show you um, from scratch and you can make it as basic or as complicated as you like. Uh, get some water on your sponge, not too much, you just want it damp, and then work in a lot of red paint. You love looking like a tomato, don't you? Yep. <laughs> Remembering the primary. <laughs> when you called me tomato. <laughs> Every time after pee. <laughs> Jack's face does go really red when he's exercising. It did! <laughs> not now. It's not as bad now. Okay. So, tomato face. Uh, red paint. You want to do this fast because everything else takes a wee bit more time. So, get lots of paint on there. Drag it on. Uh, don't be too delicate about it. Isn't that right, Jack? <laughs> okay, so uh, close your eyes for me, son. Uh, if you have got a water bottle, that's preferable. If you want to scoosh your sponge with some water lightly, that works really, really well. If you don't, just keep remembering not too much water on your sponge. Um, this is a full face paint, but you can also do half face paints. I quite like that. Um, so that's as you can devil. see, I'm kind of dragging that down a wee bit there. This is a face paint sponge, so it's a lot softer than maybe what a, a baby sponge would be or an unused um, sponge that you've got lying around about the house. So it really can be quite fast. If you, if you buy those wax crayon things, oh, you're going to be there forever and it hurts. It really hurts um, whoever you're painting, whether it's uh, yourself or somebody else. What I'm doing there is not stroking Jack's lovely blonde hair. It's literally <laughs> just to steady his head. Um, Jack's a teenager, so I don't really need to. But when you're working on it... <laughs> headbang. <laughs> Please don't headbang. So when you're working with smaller kids, you need to, to kind of just steady their head a wee bit, make sure that they don't move too quickly. And then you get a sponge in the eye. Don't want that. But this is fun and it's just really easy. Okay, so that's the red on. I'm not overly happy with that yet because, well, it's my job, isn't it? It looks like so... I've just had a very bad, like, tanning. <laughs> just like, <laughs> spray tan. Like quite a few people, I suppose, in Scotland just now with that lovely sunshine. <gasps> Got a wee bit burnt myself, actually, a little bit. So what I'm doing now is just dabbing it. Um, to make sure that it's nice and even, dabbing, stippling, whatever you want to call it. And there we go, nice and red. So the history of a red devil, how the heck did that come about? I think it might be because the red devil... Is the colour of the anger and blood. Could be, could that be. That is one reason. But also the devil was likened to a beast and a dragon. Maybe, don't know, red dragon. Anyway, popular culture, we're sticking with red, but 
just the same as a witch. A devil could be any colour. Go wild. Okay, so I'm going to go under Jack's. No, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So I'm going to give him some devil hair here because in the Tamashanter poem, the devil was portrayed as a hairy beast. So, just going to add in some black all around. And I'm doing it in light strokes. I'm not doing the one solid line because, like I just said, the the deal in Cutty Sark was a hairy beast. Playing the bagpipes. That's me basically just going round Jack's face there to make him look a bit like a hairy beast. So you can go over that really fast movements with your brush, fast and light. Again, if you're working with a young child, keep your head, your head, you keep your hand on their head. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to, you put your head in your hand. <laughs> Just like well, take off my head and put it in your hand, face my face, and then put it back on. And Kelly's my son, can you? <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come under the cheekbones there and down, and I'm gonna match it up on the other side and down. Hand up, hand down. And I'm Spots. gonna give Jack a bit of a goatee here as well, because uh, well, nearly 15 no tash yet. Cool. Okay. And I'm gonna go round about his nose there and up on either side. And I'm gonna give him lovely big angry flared nostrils right up there too. Hmm. My hand's kind of getting in the way of what I'm doing there. I hope you can see okay. So Jack, if you just look that way. So look right at the camera. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to go in with eyebrows. Big angry devil eyebrows right there. And making them nice and wavy. The beast. You want to leave some room there for the devil horns. And then if you turn to me, can you tip? Thank you. Okay. So. We have got nice eyebrows there so if you want to look at the camera and show everybody your gorgeous devil face there just now okay fantastic and we've just got the light coming in from the front door as well <laughs> excellent so um i'm just gonna do jack's lipstick now he does like a bit of lipstick don't you think no And uh, I'll make him look slightly angry there just by dragging that down. Okay, so we're starting to look a little bit angry there. Um, so I'm going to get some gold on my sponge now. And stencil, so you don't need to buy any special stencils if you've got, um, if you buy oranges in packets, they've got quite a nice kind of crisscross shape, or if you get any bottles that have some sort of wrapping with a kind of crisscross, you can use things that you can find to add a bit of texture to any design. So, let's 
So I'm just adding in some scales there because I quite like the the Book of Revelations saying that the devil was a, a dragon, like a dragon kind of creature beast. So I'm just adding in some scales there. If you close your eyes for a second, I'm just going to go over your eyelids there with a bit of craft. Just dabbing it on with a sponge. And a little bit underneath his eye, a little bit there as well. Make him look a bit tired. It's hard work being the devil, isn't it? Yes, very. <laughs> I don't think he looks uh, quite scary enough yet, so we're going to add in some light lines. I was scared under before his this eyes. face paint. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, <laughs> using the same brush. Oh, yeah, no, that's scary. <laughs> using the same brush. Lots of water when you're using the brush to really get a load of paint on there. I'm just going to paint on the horns over the top of his eyebrows. Now, if you're really clever, you can leave that area blank before you paint the white on, and then there's no danger that you're going to make it look pink. Because with this paint, you can't go over it time and time again. It just cracks. So if you turn to me. Okay, so we've nearly got the horns on there, like the horns of the lamb. He's going to get a bit pointy. So now that I've got white on my brush as well, I'm just going to go over it and highlight everything that we've already done. Okay. Getting those nostrils highlighted a bit there. And most definitely these big bushy, beastly eyebrows. I think you need to go and get those bad boys plucked, Jack. I think they're perfect. <laughs> like everything. Not being in the slightest. <laughs> nope. Uh, I am just using my fingers to blend that in there. If you don't like getting your fingers dirty, your hands dirty, you can use a sponge. Thank you. So. That's just bringing everything to life by adding a bit of white there. Going to do that down round about the sides as well. If you've got any questions, you want to ask me anything, uh, drop me a message in the comments and I will get back to you. <laughs> if uh, the devil doesn't get up to anything that is. What a -a. Are you sure that I'm not doing something right now? Or? Cursed. No matter. Alrighty. So I'm just going to go over those devil horns and outline them with a uh, nice strong black. So again, loads of water, really working that consistency of paint into your brush. I'm really sorry if the angle's not great. This is the first tutorial that I've ever done. Um, so I hope you can see everything not too bad. I'll, I'll work on the angle of the camera and things like that for next time. Um, big thanks again to Tamfest for involving me in their celebrations because we love Tamfest. Uh, we've been going to Tamfest as a family for a very long time and to be working at it for so many years has just been an absolute joy. It's, uh, they do so much just bringing joy to the community at Halloween. I just think it's phenomenal. I really do. 
Um, so I think I'm going to stop there with the devil. I think we've done quite a lot. So uh, I've got to, I've got to put up with this boy now for the oh next ye. couple of hours <laughs> until it's... he washes it off. You're going to wash it off, yeah? Uh, no, I'm like this forever now. <laughs> I really hope not to my <laughs> <laughs> So I'm Lorna from Face Paint Parties. This is uh, Jack the Devil, the deal. So, what do you desire? <laughs> so, thanks very much for tuning into this tutorial. If you would like to see any more, if you want to see how to paint yourself like the Cutty Sark, uh, like a witch, please let me know and uh, have a great, fantastic, fun Halloween. Um, have fun with it in the house. If you want to know where to get face paints or anything, just ask. And uh, take care. Bye. Bye.